Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to do a full oracle card spread here on YouTube and then over um, in the extended, that link is in the description box below. Um, we're going to do an extended reading with full tarot card articulation of the reading here plus a romantic reading. So Gemini, this is for sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Gemini energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days. Whenever you're seeing this, it's the perfect time, okay? And check out all the other videos too, because it's all in that um, playlist of weekly Zodiac, uh, what is it, weekends, yeah. That's the playlist, so check it out. You might find uh, other messages that you really that really resonate with you. Always check out your sun, moon, and rising sign at least, Gemini. Always, always, always. All right, let's see. Crowning your energy, give with gratitude and grace. Six plus one is seven. Um, I think this is you putting, so this is uh, having abundance, abundant resources, um, also putting your whole self into a project because seven is a number of creation or so it's either you being created or you being made and being on the recipient end of a lot of resources being invested in you, um, investments deciding to be made in you, getting loan money, getting production money, getting some sort of investments made in you um, because people believe in you um, or this is you making the decision to do the investing yourself and putting your whole self in to something in order to get it made you uh, give all of who you are like turkey turkey is also very philanthropic energy so it could very well be you making a decision to um, um, give of yourself give of yourself and uh, sort of um, very shamanic energy too so sort of but it's all the same really it's putting your own body on the line um, for a greater good type of energy. Um, and then we have tend to the small things, 40, um, being solid. Uh, four is a uh, solid, but at the same time, it's also an infestation. This is little things, little by little, something building. So in other words, in combination, the two of them together are your crowning energy. Um, you could have been piece by piece, little by little, piecing something together, putting something together, having worked on something for a very long time and put all of yourself into it. So this is a project that has been, um, that has sort of been long-term interest, little investments. Maybe things have been trickling in little by little because this is sort of frustrating energy, this mouse energy, things building over time and then like adding up to something that's sort of overwhelming. So maybe this project that you've been working on or whatever it is that you have been putting yourself into has um, over time really taken too much from you. Um, yeah, like take it, yeah, yeah, taken too much from you and not really giving you um, the foundation that you wanted, or maybe you just basically decided that, you know, trickling or little, little, little bits, putting little pieces of myself into it isn't working. So I've got to go all or nothing. This, that could be the energy of all or nothing. Let's see how this plays out in your reading. really interesting okay claim your independence feeling overwhelmed a sense of one uh 13 <laughs> the lucky number no but really 13 three plus one is four um landing on your feet so yeah this was something that was costing you too much of yourself and maybe taking little bits and pieces of you as it went but this is something that you were trying to build on your own, a project that you were working on, a business that you were building, could have been a relationship, whatever it was, it was like, it was like needling, it was like picking little parts of you off. And at first I think this kind of snuck up on you, uh, Gemini, because um, it took such little bits away, it almost felt like you could do this, I'm fine, that's not taking anything from me, I got it, I have it to give. But over time, it has built up to be something that is sort of monstrous and taking all of you and ripping huge chunks. Like the little pieces never stopped. So this is you landing on your feet, 
end and saying no more. I'm done with this. I need solid ground. And for energy with cat, it's a fiery energy. It's a, to me, this is usually Aries energy. It's a sort of fiery energy, but it's also landing on your feet, landing on your feet by finding yourself again. And by putting yourself sort of, um, 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 yeah, removing yourself, removing yourself from a circumstance or situation emotionally and making sure that you are okay in a place that you needed to be solid, like a place that, um, I'm sorry, I'm tripping over my words, uh, that you're in a place where you feel good about yourself and you feel safe again. There's this sense of nitpicking or um pestering pesting uh but it, the pestering is was was literally starting to wear you down um and then we have a bunch of cards that's why i said this is interesting when all the cards came out we have a bunch of cards that plopped right on the mouse energy and then they were all upside down so the miracles are endless this this card is really wonderful even upside down um though it does take on a different meaning this is like a cup that's ready to be full or a cup that's already full or filling up your own cup feeling feeling good about yourself like um um nurturing healing in some way uh, and then in reverse be loyal to what you love but this is disloyalty upside down this is being disappointed or somehow maybe disappointing somebody else, being a disappointment to somebody else, disappointment um, of something that you held near and dear to your heart or that you felt would be loyal to you, like uh, disappointed disappointed loyalty, uh, betrayal. It, could, it doesn't have to be blatant betrayal, but definitely like, I guess what to me what this is telling me is you expected other people to come through for you and they didn't. You expected that this cup wouldn't be emptied, that other people in your life have somehow, Gemini, disappointed you, let you down. They had feigned loyalty or they said that they were friends, but it's like, it's almost like really having bad taste in friends, choosing people who drain you instead of people who actually care about you. Um, for whatever reason, this was, that's the energy. It's like, yeah. Friends that end up always, always taking instead of giving. Um, and you end up having to like, sort of like pour them out and start over with other new people. That kind of energy. Um, bring your ideas to life. This could have been somebody trying to steal your ideas. Yeah. Um, so... When it's upside down, it's like shocking information. It's like a shock to the heart. So this is your central energy too. And that's why I say shock to the heart. Um, I think that you're just shocked that somebody did not have your back. That's what I think. That, that That's what this energy feels like so far. Like there is a sense of how could you do that? Like what? Why would you behave this way? Or where are you when I need you? That kind of energy. Where are you when I need you? Hold on. Take time out. Bear energy. This is really feeling attacked. Sort of aggressive energy. Nine. Something is coming to a head. Um, maybe realizing that, um, the like realizing that the danger was closer than you thought. It's almost like kind of like letting the bear into your cabin. That kind of energy of uh, realizing that um, something that you trusted, something that you maybe even protected or defended, was actually. Um, more dangerous than you thought, playing with lightning type of energy, um, take time out. You are defending yourself. There's almost like a block. It's like now you want to, def like you have to put a wall, not a wall, um, feel like you need protection from somebody. Maybe this is a stalker too. Maybe this is the energy of, of having needed to cut somebody off or maybe basically accusing somebody uh, cutting them off or um accusing yeah like 
hold on let me finish the this is interesting energy bring a gentle touch this doesn't really match does it no trust in the great mystery diving in deep this is getting in over your head that's what it, that's what i'm hearing with this energy and awakening to realizing that you put yourself in over your head so whatever this project was or this relationship was it's like you let it go for too long too far and the little bits and pieces finally added up and were like this is realizing it waking up and realizing it because it finally came out that it was actually like like sort of like um single white female almost like that energy of letting the devil in thinking that it was a friend uh, and then realizing that you were in too deep and that, that the enemy was too close type of energy. Um, and then this is make your dreams real, but this is this is manipulation, walking in a spider web. But, uh, leave a message and I'll call you back. Um, um, it's feeling like you have to tiptoe around your own house now because it doesn't belong to you or around your own life or around your own ideas or around your own, um, yeah, your own space. This, this energy of... Um, Somebody is tapping into your energy and trying to wrap you up and like sort of feed off of you, um, trying to catch you in their web, catch you in the spider web, manipulate you, maybe like, you know, like a marionette, manipulate you, pull your strings. But it's almost like you have to be very, very careful now because you know that you're almost somebody's prey. So this is definitely energy of like uh, nine and nine. Something is, something is is becoming very very clear that wasn't wasn't there that wasn't clear before um you're starting to see the danger um that that is in your world of a of a certain circumstance or person that's in your world and it's almost like feeling like you're feeling like you're in too deep like too many things have built up for too long and taken too much of you mm. And then we have uh, like a moth to a flame being attracted to something that's bad for you. And at first thinking that it's the coolest thing in the world and thinking that you're having fun and not being able to resist. This is Sagittarius energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio. I don't know if you're dealing with Sagittarius. I don't know if you're dealing with a Cancerian. But this is having this Gemini. This is the energy of feeling like something is irresistible um and and tempting also tempting the fire a little bit like having really fun like fueling the fire thinking like you could control this like this was going to work in your favor but at the same time but no it actually has kind of imploded on you and sort of um exploded in your face and become something that is quite dangerous and um almost like you're gonna get burned um watch and wait wow so this is piscean energy this is sort of smothering energy it's almost like somebody has decided that they're just going to sort of smother you and wrap themselves around you and um not let you go and stay stay there stay there for as long as it takes it's like yeah it, it's like um or this is a reminder that you've let this go too long. You wanted, you, it's almost like it was intriguing at first, the situation, the circumstance of this person, like, ooh, let's see what's gonna happen next. You were actually engaged and involved in like playing with this situation, like like a cat and mouse, do you see? Like this cat and this mouse, you know, that like the cat thought, okay, I've got this covered, like this is really interesting. I'm like Tom and Jerry, but Tom is the one that always got burned. And in this situation, you're the Tom. Like you're the, you're the one that ended up like being fascinated. It's almost like something that you were fascinated by is what's ended up burning you. Like you, you gave it this time. You decided to invest this time. At first you thought it was fun and intriguing and that's why it got so close to you. Pretending like either you, this is like the energy of something fake, right? something to blend in or um yeah, like single white female, like pretending like it was something that was benign and yet it wasn't. Um, also it could, you know, could have been you like faking yourself out, pretending like, oh, I got this, I got this covered. I'm totally in control when underlying in the surface, there was something that you absolutely did not have like it, <clears throat> but I don't think you were concerned with that. This is change, a quick change. You could actually also be incognito. Somebody could be disguised. Somebody could be watching you in a disguise. Um, you know, like, like I said, stalking you or, uh, you know, um, you know, like pretending like they're not there watching you from afar trying to blend into the situation trying to get into your world trying to kind of be everything that you need to be to fit into a place that you really don't belong um 
Um, yeah. Wow. Wow. This is more 38 energy. 3-8. More energy. You're awakening. It's almost like it's almost like the skeletons are awakening. It's almost like the bad stuff is waking up. Everything that was tried to be buried is now coming up to the surface. That's what's awakening. This is the awakening and the dawning of the stuff that was creeping at night. This is the awakening and the dawning of the dangerous stuff, like the toxic stuff. You know, the skeleton on the poison bottle? That's what it is. It's like the poison is coming to the surface. That's what's awakening of how toxic this thing was all along. And then there's this energy of bring a gentle touch, also an energy of nine. This could either be a... Um, I almost feel like this is this is Virgo. This is Virgo energy. This is almost like you have you have you've been too nice for too long. You've tolerated something for too long. Um, tolerating for something something too long, and it ended up burning you. Um, and and almost almost maybe like making you out to be the one that was the bad person because like like casting the shadows and the dirt on you because you and and honestly just taking care taking advantage of your kindness or taking advantage of your <clears throat> benefit of the doubt um this person kind of snuck in and became a very toxic 623 happy birthday Doug Denny became a very toxic circumstance or situation and and kind of sucked you in and got you sucked into it so um Oh, let me flip around the camera angle so I can review the cards with you. Hold on. Yeah, I hi Gemini. I can already feel that Mercury retrograde starting to affect the way that I stumble over my words. Like the communication is just, just not coming out right. But this is your spread. And it, it is like a sad tale, a cautionary tale of don't play with fire. Like because if you, if you play with fire, you're going to get burned. And that's sort of this energy now where you're getting burned because you let the fire get too close. It was fascinating to you. It was gorgeous. You even thought that you could handle it, but ultimately it was very poison and the poison's coming to the surface now. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's deciding to basically stick there and stick in your life and sort of has, has something fake has, has gotten its way in. Um, um, this is you having waited too long to be having tolerated it too long, having tolerated the, um, um, the toxicity for too long um, and almost feeling almost like you're sort of too vulnerable right now feeling like you're in a position of vulnerability which you kind of are Gemini usually you can talk your way out of anything or manipulate your way out of anything but when we're coming we're in a we're in a shadow the shadow period of mercury retrograde and we're going to be hot knee deep in retrograde in six days I mean, you are sort of in a vulnerable position where you and Virgo alike are both sort of compromised in terms of your planet is is has is slowing down. It's pulling you back. So this is an energy of, yes, all this shit is going to come out during the retrograde period. And yes, it's all going to bubble to the surface, but it's like you're going to be so uncomfortable and stuck in it that whole time and really almost like just almost like have to live through the poison type of energy. I'm going to see what we can do and how we're going to get through this. This is your tarot card reading coming up. And then we also have your romance reading that's a part of it. The link is below. Please join me for the extended. I will see you over there.